Hello everyone, I'm going to be introducing to you three crucial things to know of how to begin to be proficient at Excel. And they are how Excel really organizes its data, how to input data within to Excel, and finally how to format that data. And so to begin, I'm going to open up a blank file. So I'm going to click Excel, I'm going to open up whatever, a blank workbook. Excel organizes its data through workbooks and worksheets. And to simply tell the difference, the workbook is the file that's on your computer the file that you see on your desktop, and the file that you open to actually see your data. That's what we call a workbook. And our worksheets are within a workbook. And they're located at the bottom. So each sheet holds different sets of data. And it really helps with organizing data, let's say, um, on a different day, on a different company. Well, however you organize your data, it's very helpful. Worksheets and workbooks, very intuitive. And next, we're going to go into how Excel really sorts its data. Um, so to begin, Excel is uses a coordinate system to uh, locate its data. So every cell, which is basically a field to type in either letters or numbers, it has an address. It has a two-character address, which is a letter and a number. The letters uh, ascend on the horizontal axis, while the numbers ascend on the vertical axis. So the address of the corner cell is A1, and the cell address of the one next to it is B1. So it's, it's a very intuitive way to sort your data. And now to input data, I am going to open a pre-existing workbook, which is a cookbook I've opened. And basically, it's really just a cookbook. So I have a couple categories, the recipe name, how many calories it has, the fat intake, the cooking time, and the cost. So to input data, it's very self-intuitive again. This is just the first video for beginners. So you click on the cell you want to actually input data to, then you type your data in. So for this recipe, let's say I have a sirloin steak. Okay? And you intuitively input your own data. Let's say this has, what, 700 calories, about 25 grams of fat, cooking time about 45 minutes, and let's say my sirloin steak gets expensive, so let's say it's about 1050. Okay. And a, a couple shortcuts, I'm going to introduce a couple shortcuts every every video so we get a little bit more proficient. To move around cells, you can use your arrow keys, so up or down, up, down, up, and left, right work. But to be more effective at it, you can also use your tab keys, which will go to the next cell to the right. So let's make a new recipe. Let me call it mashed potatoes. Okay, I make some mighty mashed potatoes. Then when I'm done, I can press the tab key, which is above the caps lock on your keyboard, and it'll shift one to the right. Then you keep inputting your data. So let's say Miss Mashed Potatoes, I make it light, not that much butter. 250 calories. Uh, fat, meh, not much fat. It's a vegetable. And cooking time, 15 minutes, let's just say. The cost, potatoes come from the ground, so let's just go with $2. All right. And after you're done going horizontally across the row, if you press enter, it will go back to the first line, the, f the leftmost column of the next line. And so it's really effective if you're inputting a lot of data, you just hit tab a lot and you hit enter when you need a new line, and it, it really saves them a lot of time. And finally, we are, I'm going to show you how to format uh, your data. And this is the simplest of formatting. Formatting gets a lot more complicated and it gets a lot more advanced, but let's start with formatting for, the be for be beginners. So formatting is usually done with numbers, sometimes text. But really, we're going to focus on numbers right now. And the one thing that I can see that we need to format is the cost. I see this because cost is usually in dollars, and it goes to usually two decimal places. While this, it's just raw data. Whatever I typed in, it goes like that. I could simply type in two uh, decimal zero zero, and it'll still look like that. Why? Because we need to format that data. And the simplest of formatting is you select all the data you want to format, you go up to this top uh, toolbar, both in Mac and Windows, it'll have the same thing, 
and then you click and you can say currency and de by default currency is usually with a dollar sign and with two decimals I'll push that and there we go it's it's um, it's formatted so it looks a lot better in the chart and in addition it makes it a lot neater if I want to be more custom I can select all the data again I can right click and I can go to format cells and again this has the same list as the number toolbar except you can choose how many decimal places and the currency symbol so if you're in an obscure country such as um, Spain you can change it to your native currency you can also change the decimal places so let's say I want three decimal places because I like to save the pennies then I can round it to three decimal places and there you go however I will just keep that regular number and I think that's everything we've learned the basic of how Excel really separates workbooks and worksheets we've worked on how to input data and a little shortcuts using the enter key and the tab key and finally we learned how to uh, format the data so it not only looks good to our eyes but it also looks organized and in a fashionable manner and I think that's all so I'll see you guys later um, keep practicing Excel and good luck